So this week uh, we are in seminar with Michael Schmidt doing a seminar called Being Music, which is about the sort of history and evolution of music throughout time and also possible future music in relation to media and media culture. What's been your experience with the workshop so far? Uh, my experience has been fantastic. It's really small. There's only four of us, so it's been really intimate, and we've all been able to share our work and discuss, you know, the the concepts together. Um, for me, discussing this kind of music at this level really relates to painting, and how painting can be seen in different or alternative ways. Um, using different methods. So what is a what is a mark? What is a what is a brush stroke can relate to what is a note? What is a sound? Um, so for me, that's really where my interest comes from. So during the seminar, we were also able to present our works. So I presented a series of works that I've been creating that combines um, action painting with natural objects, um, which I've been sort of starting to think of as intra acting action painting, um, in the sense that you know. I'm a mutually entangled subject with these different objects. Um, so my work takes sort of the influence from action painting but combines it with biology and science studies and feminist materialism to kind of explore the notion of movement and the evolution of form. So in this piece, um, I use natural canvas, which I put on the floor. I pour and stain the canvas and then I throw different objects like pods, botanicals, um, cocoa petals, reindeer moss, um, different kinds of seeds, sometimes flax seeds I use a lot. And then I kind of seal it all down to a certain extent, but I know that things will never be perfectly sealed, so there's always a bit of loss and a little bit of decay. I've been looking at EGS for about 10 years when I was looking to do a graduate study and master program. Um, I ended up going to a different program, but EGS was always in my head um, because of its sort of existing on the, sort of on the inside, but also on the margins of academia, which gives you a lot of freedom to really work on the things you want to work on um, and to work with the people you want to work with. That's really what drew me here. I, it's not completely foreign to me to work in this way. Um, in the organizations I work for, we work, you know, at Sky Art, we work really similarly, um, where teaching artists teach by practice. So I've already sort of been established with that model of, of learning and engaging, and I find it very rewarding and fruitful. Well, since being at EGS, I've met incredible, the students are incredible. I've made incredible friends, um, had dinner with professors that we've had seminars with. We're all sort of together. Um, getting to see a professor in the classroom and then give a lecture is always a really interesting experience. And um, yeah, that's a huge draw, a huge draw. Living together, studying together, you're really immersed in the material. Um, and the, one of the reasons I came here was because my work doesn't fit into a traditional academic sort of linear, linear um, category, and neither does my art, and it's very cross-disciplinary. So I wanted the opportunity to really be able to develop my projects um, freely and to be able to pull material from many different places.